What is going on everyone, Taz Official here, bringing you guys another discussion video, and today we're going to be talking about the most anticipated arc for the anime that we all look forward to, for every gen that Ash has to go through, and I'm talking about the Kalos League, and today with me to discuss this is... Hey guys, DJ Sack Bubba there. Hey, what's going on everybody, this is Alpha AB. And let's get started, so first off... We're already here. Two years have gone by, and what do you know? League is here. So many things to look forward to, and the most important one is: Is Ash gonna win this year's league? Is he gonna do it, or are we gonna go to another gen where he has to go and try to win that league? But you know, it, it's crazy to think that we're already here. What are your initial thoughts on that? Like, are you excited? Are you nervous that they're gonna mess this arc up, or what? You no, know, no. I think the fact that it's looking like he's going to do extremely well in this league, so I think that's very exciting to look forward to. I think it's kind of weird that there's not much build-up to it. Like, this episode's this Thursday, and uh, we're just jumping straight into the league. There's no, like, pre-league kind of episode situation. It looks like they're just kind of jumping right into it, so that's a little weird. So, I mean, it, we'll, we'll see. I mean, there's some doubts in my mind that they might be rushing it a little bit. But I don't know. I'm, I'll be optimistic about it. I think it'll be a good time overall. Right, they could surprise mm -hmm. us. What about you, Evie? Yeah, overall, I'm really excited uh, as to what this league is going to offer. Uh, we've been waiting for this for two years now, and we, we got an introduction to the league a few weeks back, and my initial thoughts when we got our first glim glimpse of the Pokemon League itself, the arena in itself is, first of all, it looks it looks really nice in terms of in terms of um, its design, and as the days go by, we got previews which gave us more insight as to what this league is going to offer us to uh, as the audience. And I've got to say, the, the these battles that are coming up, especially with this whole concept of Mega Evolution, I have a feeling that this is going to be a really good league overall. Um, I'm hoping it'll be similar to the Sinnoh region, what well, the Sinnoh Colors League in a way. But I will say that, um, what did you say earlier in terms of the build-up? Um, I don't want to get into it, but I just want to quickly point out that, yeah, that's one of the few things that the X and Y, X and y series has been lacking. Uh, and that's our build-up episode. Just last, just last week's episode, we got an episode which is really 100% filler. doesn't have to do anything about um, like the preview or, or the build-up to the league, so... Right. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, it'll feel weird how we're gonna be approaching this league, but overall, I'm hoping the writers ha handle this league really well because this is gonna be the only tournament that we're gonna be having in this series. Right, and I, and I also want to talk about the build up real quick. Just like the, right. uh, just like the the master class try Pokemon, there wasn't really much build up. We got two filler, well, one filler episode, and then an episode dedicated to Noivern. And then after that, we just jumped straight into the master class. Like, I, yeah, it was two episodes, but there wasn't like episodes in between where it didn't have to do with the master class or tri Pokemon, where Serena thought about this huge uh, performance that she had to do. Like, maybe we get to, well, maybe we get to see like tidbits of her practicing or something like that, or her worrying about her uh, performance in the in the competition we didn't get none of that right. we just jumped straight into the competition without any build-up and that seems to uh, th they seem to be doing the same thing for the college league there's no like ash well yeah there's, at some points in the series yeah because it is a big deal i mean ash is the main protagonist so they are gonna be uh, they're gonna make ash say like yo he's um training to fight in the college league but there hasn't really been like real actual training just for the league itself like, mostly it has to do with Ash and Green Ninja trying to figure out their new transformation. But aside from that, mm -hmm. there hasn't been any uh, practice whatsoever when it comes to the league. Um, here and there, but not as much as fans want to. But, uh, yeah, right. there's lots of things, uh, like I said before, to look forward to. And I think uh, what we should talk about first is how far do you think Ash is going to go in this, co in this league this time around? Well, me personally, um, it's a guarantee based off the future episodes that we've gotten. It's a guarantee that Ash is going to be going. It's going to be going as far as to the semifinals versus Shota. I'm really happy with this overall because you know, going back to the Sinnoh region, 
the semi-final is the longest progress Ash has ever gone in the and within a Pokemon League, and we get to see that again in the Colors region. But now there is a greater chance that for the first time in Ash's progression in a Pokemon League, that uh, he'll be advancing to the finals, which I'm going to be really happy about. Because let me tell you this: to to me, it wouldn't make sense for Ash to lose to Shadow again after what Ash has been through. He's been through a series of struggles. He's been through. Uh, he's been thinking a lot about his recent defeats, amongst them being Shelton, how he's been catching up to him. It just wouldn't make sense just for Ash to lose against Shelton within the semifinals. He has this chance of actually um, going through, uh, going past the semifinals and he heading over to his first ever finals. So, yeah, I believe that Ash can definitely make it as far as to the finals. Right. What about you, DJ? Um, I'd say uh, pretty much the same thing as Evie said, but I want to add on to what he said about uh, him making it to the finals. I think that's kind of a, like, even though that's not confirmed yet, I think it kind of would make sense for him to advance on. Not only right. because I don't find it uh, unlikely, I don't find it likely that he's going to lose to uh, Sawyer again. But I think what the point of all this is that they're building up I mean, Alon's in the league now, so it seems to me that it would make sense for the big finale of all this would be to have Ash versus Alon with Mega Charizard X and then Ash Greninja. So, like, now that he's mastered Ash Greninja completely, we could see him beat Sawyer, which we've seen him struggle with before, and then we could see him maybe finally beat Alon, but that might be a bit of a stretch. We'll see. But yeah, it makes sense to me. I think he's going to make it to the finals. Whether or not he's going to win, yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, it's good to know that Ash is going to go really far. Maybe the farthest that he's ever gone in the in a league itself. I mean, the farthest that he's gone in previous gens was, uh, well, top four. And it was against Tobias. So we all know how that went down. Spoiler alert, he lost. Um, you know, Tobias... I, I don't want to go through all that battle, but, you know, I don't like the way they made Ash lose. I mean, Tobias had two freaking legendaries, and there was still four more Pokemon that we had no idea um, who they were. So, I don't know why the writers did that. I don't know why uh, they just did that for, I mean, to Ash. Like, Diamond and Pearl is the longest series in a Pokemon, uh, yeah, for a Pokemon gen. Uh, and for that to happen, it's kind of like, why, why would you do that? And for this, for X and Y, it's been two years, and we all know that Sun and Moon is coming out uh, at the end of this year, and the anime, we should be getting news on the anime, Sun and Moon anime, uh, soon enough. So, you know, I hope they don't do what they did in the Sinnoh League and basically give Ash a good shot of actually winning the league. Hopefully, uh, he puts out a, well, hopefully it's a good battle, uh, until the last, the final two Pokemon, like you said, it's going to be Alon's Charizard versus hopefully uh, Green Ninja. It would only make sense because th we've been focusing on Green Ninja this whole entire, uh, these past 20 episodes. So hopefully we get a good battle between those two and maybe he wins the league. I think he's going to win the league personally because all this buildup for him to lose, it just doesn't make sense, you know. It, it, it needs to have a huge payoff, especially with all these arcs. And, you know, this is the most powerful Ash has been. Like, he has a powerhouse of Pokemon, and, and we don't know yet who's going to be a sixth Pokemon. So I, I don't see how he's going to lose this league. He's going to take the W, and he's going to move on to the Champion League. But that's for another discussion. Right. right, and I do want to add something upon that. Now, you know, with the rivals that we've gotten, you know, he's going to be facing against Shota and perhaps um, Alan. And that's if he event he goes past the semifinals. Really, compared to the last few weeks, I wouldn't mind at all if Ash loses against one of those two because we've already gotten well familiar with with these rivals. We've gotten more screen time and at least more focus and pulling off a move like freaking Cameron back in black and white, where yeah. Yeah. he he got he got introduced way late in the series and he he eventually just lose to him. No, that's like completely unacceptable. But the difference now is that. With X and Y, with Shota and Alon, and getting familiar with some of these rivals early in the series, I, I wouldn't feel as bad for Rash losing against one of those rivals. Right, I I'd be okay with him losing to Alon, but it needs to be like I said, a close match. Like 
where they both attack. Oh, yeah. You know, it depends on the Pokemon stamina, who's going to fall first. Like, that kind of situation we had with Electivire and Infernape in the Sinnoh League. That kind of situation mm -hmm. hopefully does happen. If not, I hope Ash does not get wrecked. I mean, he lost two times. For once, I'm crossing my fingers that they pull the cliche and they're like, you know what, he wins because this is the finale, you know. This is the one time I'm hoping that cliche actually happens. Um, you know, aside from that, a lot of people are also speculating that Team Flare is going to interrupt the, f uh, the final battle between Ash and uh, Alon. Do you think that's going to happen or no? Well, the uh, only way I could... Oh, go you ahead. Go ahead. You, no, you go ahead. It's fine. All righty. Um, really, the only way I could see Team Flair in order to the final is if Ash's sixth member is actually uh, a pudding chen. I, I don't really see um, any other reason as to why uh, Team Flair will interrupt, will interrupt the final. Uh, unless uh, Team Flair calls Alon for, I don't know, a mission that they have to do. But other than that, I, I don't really see how Team Flair would interrupt the final or how they would take place. Or play a role in this college league, right? What about you, DJ? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. Like, I think uh, if Team Flair were to interrupt the league, that'd be pretty interesting, and uh, it'd, it'd be definitely a different kind of thing. But at the same time, it, it doesn't. It seems like it would get too cluttered. There'd be too much plot going on. You got the league, and you got Team Flair going on. And there's also not much time left in the anime. So it seems like if they put those two things together, they're just kind of trying to get it out of the way to like finish the series off because there's not much time left. And I think Team Flair deserves like a bit more time like to have to themselves, dedicate to themselves. So I think that'll like all of that will be taken care of once uh, the league's completely wrapped up. Right. And I think like it kind of helps that Alon's there. So I think whatever Alon's doing there, like they might tie in the team player somehow. I don't know if it will or not. I think whatever um, Alon's results with the league will help tie yeah, in later. Hey, let's not forget about Malva because next week, uh, according to the VA list, she will be in a po in within the Pokemon League. So who knows if she also play a role with Team Flare on this? So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's lots of questions that need to be answered. Hopefully, we get those answers uh, in this upcoming College League episode. You know, something else that I'm worried about for the league is how Green Ninja is kind of like the main focus. I don't know if you guys saw the AMV or not, but they actually posted an AMV between Ash and Green Ninja. And first off, I do want to say it was uh, I, I loved it. I love the way they edited the opening theme song, just great overall. But here's something that really worries me i hope green ninja isn't gonna steal the spotlight from the other pokemon because i want mm -hmm. to see their fullest potential at the Kalos league i mean at the Kal like every league we have every um ashes pokemon struggle trying to get um trying to defeat the other pokemon and you see it like because this is the final battle this after this they're got they're gone they're gonna go back to professor oak's lab and we'll never see them again so I hope that they put a lot of focus on Ash's other Pokemon, them struggling to win the battle, or maybe just some moments between them, like maybe Ash having flashbacks of how he caught that Pokemon and training with them. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, some Ash and Halucha moments, Noi Bat, no, I mean, Noivern moments, you know, and uh, yeah, hopefully that's the case. Just, I hope they don't put too much focus on Green Ninja. Like, I get he's going to be the final Pokemon, uh, for Ash, when it's like down to the final, uh, the final Pokemon for each uh, a trainee, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, hopefully th they put focus on the other Pokemon. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, you know, um, because this past few, this past few um, episodes, there has been some heavy emphasis on Ash Queen Ninja, which um, you know, which I'm glad they finally said that over with. But I hope that d they don't c continue this concept up to the point where. You know, Green Ninja um, uh, takes a spotlight in some of these important events like the Cause League. You know, I would like to have more spotlight for some of the other Pokemon that, that we haven't really seen within the Pokemon battle. For example, uh, Noivern. Uh, we've only seen Noivern, I believe, in in two battles, two two official training battles so far. It would have been nice for at least to see Noivern take part in a couple of battles within the Pokemon League. It'll it'll also be nice to see Halucha, Talonflame, 
uh, also take part in all this. And Pikachu, we, we have seen Pikachu take part in um, a really important uh, battle. Uh, we, we haven't seen Pikachu w within a gym battle for quite some time now. So, uh, And within the previous, we did get, get confirmation that Pikachu will eventually take part in the battle, which I don't see why not. I mean, as should his, use his best buddy in one of these battles. So, uh, yeah, yeah cool. I'm hoping... Yeah, so I'm hoping that Ash Greninja doesn't take the majority of the spotlight for this arc. Right. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, Ash Greninja, it already had an arc of its own. I think all that's been settled. Like, 28, we got all the issues worked out. And then 29, where the rematch with Wolfric, I think that episode uh, showed off Ash Greninja enough to let us know, like, okay, it's at its full potential now. Now we could move on from it and just let that be a thing and not let it drown the uh, focus away from everyone else. Right. Right. So I think, yeah, now that that's all over, uh, like, the perfect situation would be still, it's fine to use uh, Greninja as, like, like the final Pokemon, like, the big one, but, like, as long as it's not, the focus isn't taken away from everyone else, uh, especially, like, like uh, we'll get to this later, but we got a six Pokemon to worry about, so obviously that's going to need some... Uh, some focus, because, I mean, it's the sixth oh, Pokemon. Yeah. It's coming in out of nowhere. No right. matter who it is. Right, that's a discussion on its own. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. But, you know, uh, we t we talked about, uh, like, you know, certain focuses for certain Pokemon. We talked about the rivals, and we talked about uh, Flash's placement in this league. So, um, just to end off this, this discussion, what are you really hope? like, what are you looking forward to this, to this league, and hoping that the writers don't mess up like what what's something that you're like what moment are you just waiting for it to happen uh to me the animation um these past few episodes uh, they they haven't been using using their animation budget uh, all too much which is a good thing because with an event like this you know i expect them to blow up their animation budget on these uh, next few episodes so i really do want some nice visuals really nice animation and give me some good ass battles that i would love to see you it's the league, so I don't see why they, they wouldn't do so. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the battles in itself and the animation. I'm also definitely looking forward to the battles. When I saw uh, a couple of weeks ago the the Ash and Diantha battle, I was blown away by it. That's one of the best battles I've ever seen. And if the league can give me more battles like that, like I would just be amazed. Like I'm totally waiting for that. Right. And, uh, and I think the the music too. I think the music will definitely help out with that. Oh yeah. And I'm sure the dub's not gonna treat it so well, but I have some confidence that we'll hear we'll be hearing a uh, X, Y, and Z theme in there. Maybe some new stuff. Like that's what I'm really hopeful for. Right. And for me, um, you kind of touched upon it a little bit. The music. The music for the league is something I'm really hyped up for because what I here's what I'm hoping for. The final two, it's Ash and Alon, or it's someone else. I'm pretty sure it's Alon. It's confirmed. Uh, yeah, the the Volt song actually starts playing, and they're down to their final Pokemon. Maybe it's Ash's last, uh, well, Ash's Pokemon that he picked up from uh, from Professor Oak's lab, or maybe it's Greninja. I don't care, but that music plus the animation plus the intensity of Ash winning this uh, league match or not. That's what I'm hoping for, because those final five minutes, hopefully the battle's five minutes or longer, it's going to go down to the final wire. And so much is hanging on that final battle, so I'm just hoping that they put Volt for the final, uh, for the final two. The final two Pokemon duking it out, put that song in. I'm, trust me, man, it's going to be great. If not, then maybe they'll surprise us with another song we haven't heard of yet. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but there's lots of things to look forward to. Yes, animation, music, uh, the outcome for this Kalos League, and after this Kalos League, what's next? We'll get to that in a future discussion, but uh, let us know in the comments below. What are you looking forward to, and what place do you think Ash is going to get at the Kalos League? Um, anything else that you guys want to add, or do you think we're done? Um, yeah, I, think, I think we covered most of the general stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so we're good to go. Yep. All right. Yep. So All right. just letting everyone know here, we will be tackling the uh, other discussion videos about cameos, like who's going to cameo in the Kalos League. We're also going to be talking about uh, if there's going to, if this Kalos League is going to be 
uh, on standby because Steam Flare attacks. We'll have a discussion on that. And most importantly, who is Ashes 6 Pokemon? We'll tackle that as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this discussion video. And hopefully we'll see you in whatever video or reaction video I make next. Thank you, DJ and EB, for helping me out with this discussion. And I'll see you guys in whatever video I make next. Bye. Bye. Laters.